guess. Hmm. I'll see you later. Welcome home. What's wrong?
ん。Oh, big fro! Thank you. See you later. Welcome back. Got to. 
Thank you. Right, let's go home. Welcome back. They look good. Great vegetables. Excited to see them come in.
Welcome back. Hmm? Oh, excuse me, do you have any business here? Mm, as you can see, my master is currently away. If your errand isn't urgent, I regret to ask that you come back late. No, that won't do. This room is bound tightly to your fate. Nothing here happens without a reason. There must be meaning in our meeting here alone. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I am Margaret. I am the one who rules over power, invited here after my predecessor's sudden disappearance. You may be the first person who has ever been welcomed here by someone other than my master. The Velvet Room is inseparable from the heart of its invited guest. The shape of the room and its residence are selected by my master based on the number of guests and their destiny. Shall we chat? I feel that is what I'm called to do.
I wish you well. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight.
huh? Let's go. Um... Reels?
Bahia. Welcome home. Hi there. <laughs> Where'd the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Uh, thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. Who was that boy you met with? I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. But I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy? I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if... I'm the type who never gets interested in girls. And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow, I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> No need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. 
I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. A dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Mm, well, something like that. Anything I can do to help? Well, if there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. I'll do my best. Well, if we're gonna welcome aboard a new member... Should we take him to our special headquarters? We're still calling it that? What? What's that? Come on, let's go. Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. Ah, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, wait, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, what, what is he, beating them to death? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you dipshits? <laughs> Boring. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no ideas related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's gonna be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Well, both Yukiko and Kanji-kun were involved in some way or another. But that announcer was dealing with their mothers, not them. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? 
Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? these dates? April 11th? Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki-senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi April 13th? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. I saw that, too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV, too? Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed, too? When did that interview air? I, I think it was when I was absent from school. Um, it was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and... The date! Just tell us the date! Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. Right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it! Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere! Why can't I be smarter? Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. 
don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. That reminds me! The school campout's next week! I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun! Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Yo! Mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh... We're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. What?! Oh yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear, though. Hey, why is it a bear? I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering, too. It, it's kind of cute. M mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip, bear! <laughs> uh, by the way, I've, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone, too? Th that's uh... What was it like for Senpai... <clears throat> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. My jaw! I'll be more gentle next time. More... gentle? What a pair of dimwits. Oh yeah! Here's a present from me, Kanji! It's to celebrate you joining the team! Ah, oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Hurry and put them on! Huh? Sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? Looks perfect on you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, it looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Yeah, real funny, you smart ass. Why are you taking it out on me? Give me that. <laughs> you took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> oh, oh, my sides. This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Damn it! I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> You're back. They look good.
great vegetable. Well, I'm excited to see them. hit the spot. Season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the Midnight Channel. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. right it's the first time for you two you realize the only purpose of the school camp out is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people right yeah they tell us that up front so well you see the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain picking up trash develop a love my ass that's slave labor well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. The four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night too? You wish. Guys and girls sleep in different tents. I'm warning you. If you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. This gets worse and worse. I thought it was going to be fun. It's only for one night, and we disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river.
Big Bro. 